Namaste viewers and welcome to Bend It Like LD. Today's video is a very important video for all you party folks. As we celebrate the end of 2019, it's party time across the globe and um, I'm sure you guys are all partying the night out. But not to forget those terrible hangovers, those migraine-like headaches and that general stiff head and that woozy feeling across. So this sequence is to target those typical um, part hangover blues as we call it so um, you're going to really enjoy the sequence and i know that the last thing you want to do is yoga after a hangover but trust me this is really going to help you and you can thank me for that so let's get started so the very first thing to do as soon as you wake up the next morning with a really bad stiff head is simply to keep a block under your head and rest in shavasana for a few breaths because you know with all that late night dancing too many uh, one too many drinks uh, you're going to be getting up with a stiff neck anyway so we just start with a little bit of neck rolls side to side and slowly bringing the knees to your chest gently bringing back the circulation around your hips around your knees taking some simple knee circles across your body clockwise and anti clockwise just getting some circulation back into those hips those thighs the legs so place your hands on your knees and do some knee rotations clockwise and anti-clockwise and slowly extend one leg and alternate between the right and left leg to just work up that core a little bit And with all that heavy um, music and everything, it's good to switch on to some really calm music like this to calm your nervous system. And simply put your feet up the wall and slowly bring your legs down. And gently rock up and sit up. And we'll probably start with a very simple child's pose. Has a lot of benefits, especially because you're... Um, your, your abdomen is kind of you know filled with a lot of those drinks and with a lot of heavy food probably so simply just separating the knees mat distance apart extending your arms in front of you and make sure you keep a block under your head because that will instantly bring that headache down by 60 percent and slowly then rest your abdomen onto your thighs keep a block under your forehead and just relax your upper body completely this gentle pressure on your abdomen is great for circulating the lymph back into your body um, also works as a great detox to get those metabolic um, those metal elements out of the body and staying here for as long as you wish because you're already in a bad hangover so it's good to do these a little more slowly and staying here for long deep breaths and inhaling and exhaling deeply in these postures a little bit of compression on your abdomen acts as a good detox as well for you and of course not to forget the very very popular and the best cat and cow stretches because you're probably woken up feeling stiff with those rigid stiff muscles achy muscles all over so a simple work on just stretching the upper back the lower back and the middle back with some cat and cow stretches by inhaling lifting the shoulders up and rolling back exhale drawing the belly to your spine and lifting the back all the way up about five or six times doing it gently and softly And you can simply do all these on your bed itself. You don't really have to get up and find a mat and things like that. Just grab a block and just start this even before getting out of bed. And I'm sure it's going to really make you feel so much more better. And slowly stretch your left arm out and slide that right arm to the left side. Bring the right shoulder completely on the mat to give a gentle stretch to your upper back and spine. Again, this pose is fantastic for those waking up with a bad headache. So just resting the head on the mat, allowing the upper body to just gently flow into the mat will give you a lot of relief. And change sides. 
Of course, we all know that it's um, always good to be cautious and not have one drink too many. But hey, this is the party season and we are humans and it's okay to slip up once in a while. So just follow this through the next day and maybe the next time you want to be a little more careful. And not take that happy hour a bit too seriously, huh? And then going on with a little bit of stretch for your back. So taking the right palm behind, bend the left knee. Hold the left heel or the ankle or the toes and gently lift that heel away from the butt and arch your lower back as well as you do this. And repeating on the other side. Gentle stretch. And simply lie down on your stomach from there. Before that, we also do an Anahata Asana to just try and bring the chest all the way down to the floor. Again, a fantastic pose for even migraine, a fantastic recovery pose, a fantastic pose for people with getting up with bad headache or feeling a little stiff in the neck or the upper back. A great stretch for your spine as well. And from there, moving on to Adho Mukhashwanasana, downward facing dog. Just work on lifting the heels, bend the knees and draw the belly towards your thighs. You'll do that about two or three times to just some, get some um, circulation back into your legs. So bring the heels all the way up, draw the belly all the way to the uh, thighs and just stretch out. Just doing this will make your entire body feel a lot more energized. And just driving away all that lethargy, that sluggishness and that sleepiness away from the body. And from there just lie down on your stomach. We'll do a little bit of back work with a little bit of twist to get that core working. So come on to your fingertips on either side of your chest. Take your feet mat distance apart and slowly lift up. Now try to bring that right shoulder all the way down and twist to the left side. And repeat on the other side. This is a good work for your back as well. In case you have woken up with an achy back, this will help to address that. And most of the times after a hangover, post party, we usually get up feeling a little bit low and a little bit down. So it's always good to do back bends to bring that invigorating feeling back into the body. So slowly a little bit of rocking up and down in Dhanurasana will really help to bring that joy back into your uh, body and into your mind. So grab your ankles and just rock up and down, try to point the toes up. So here we're really not trying to lift the knees too high. It's just to create a little bit of um, you know, excitement to the body, to bring that energy back to the body. So we also do a little bit of twist in Dhanurasana, twisting to the right and left, to bring that magic back into the body as we say. From there, just rest a bit here, taking your palms under your chin, turning your head to any one side, separating your feet mat distance apart. Relax for a few breaths and make sure you do all of them very slowly with a lot of awareness, taking your time with every pose. And from there, also moving to Urdhva Mukhashwanasana to again get that energy back into the body. This is a great pose to make you kind of perk up instantly. It will make you feel good. And in fact, since you're probably getting up with a little bit of stiffness, it's good to use blocks. Of course, you can't do this on the bed though. So it's just to just keep a mat next to your bed and go down onto the mat. Press your palms onto the block, keeping your blocks shoulder distance apart. Spread your fingers on the block. Press the tops of your toes firmly and try to lift your knees off the mat as much as you can, sliding your chest ahead of your elbows. Just staying here for about 5 or 10 breaths, you'll feel a lot more energetic, you'll feel a lot more joyful, a lot more strength coming back to the body. And gently release. 
Move back to child's pose from there. Press your palms onto the block. Forehead on the mat. Resting your belly towards you between your thighs. And slowly sit up. Stretch your legs out in front of you. We'll do Janu Shirsasana, a gentle forward bend. I'm going to use block here under my knee because you don't want to really push yourself too much. So take a block under the left knee, bend the right knee, press the right foot onto your left thigh. Lift your arms up as you exhale, drawing your navel to your spine. You can also use a belt or a scarf here, drawing the shoulder blades away from each other. Drop the elbows down by the sides of your knees. Slowly allowing the hamstrings to release here. With every exhalation, draw the belly in. Reach your spine towards your toes. This is a great pose to calm down your nervous system. To work on to your parasympathetic nervous system. And we'll also do a Parivrita Janu Shirsasana with a little modified version. By holding your right knee with your left palm. Gently stretch your right arm over your right shoulder up and over your right um, over the right side of your head and stretch towards your left side. As I've always explained in all my sequences, twists are so important to bring that um, feeling of detox, to clearly churn out the intestines as we call it, to give that little churning effect to your organs. Janu Shirsasana on the right side, bend your left knee, press the left heel and your foot towards your right thigh fold forward by drawing your belly towards your spine staying here as long as you wish and moving on to parivrita janu shirsasana Taking your right palm, hold your left knee, left arm lifted up, take a deep inhalation as you exhale, twist towards your left side. Open the left side of your chest, your back, feel that stretch, feel that stretch in your obliques. Try to get the right elbow down as much as you can. All these actions work on different movements of the spine and create a lot of length and mobility releasing all stiffness and rigidity from the body and from there just lie down on your back we'll finish with the Supta Baddha Konasana a reclined bound angle pose and I'm keeping blocks here under my thighs either at the lowest height or at a mid height I'm going for a mid height and then bring the soles of your feet together allowing the knees to flap towards the sides resting completely here it's a great pose again for migraines for headaches for that general uneasy feeling to relax the body to calm the body down and make sure that next time you hit the bar or you start drinking too much maybe you should slow down maybe you should um, pause it down a bit and also make sure that you have enough hydration keep drinking lots of water between your drinks so that you really don't have to do this yoga sequence the next day and you don't have to get up with a hangover and slowly come up and sit up i hope you enjoyed the sequence as much as i enjoyed doing it for you and wishing you all a very, very happy and a prosperous and joyful new year. Thank you very much and namaste for watching.